Hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. For those who use names against the Bible, my friend, we laugh at you, because even the one, the name you use, he speak clearly that no book in the world preserved as the Bible. So take his name and have fun with it. Now today we are going to continue uh, with this sheikh who claimed that he can refute us, and obviously he can, I mean, it's obvious. I mean, are you blind? Can't you see? So now he is going, you know, we. this is where we stopped last time, yesterday. If you did not watch that video, please download it and see it and laugh. Uh, today he will give us more refutation, and you Christians, you will have nothing to say. I mean, he will put you in the corner. Actually, he will not only put you in the corner, he will put you in the freezer. You, you are frozen, that's it. Let us see what he will say today. من المسيح عيسى بن مريم رسول الله قد خلت من قبل الرسل وأمه صديقة مستر. Stop. Stop. I, I like your Arabic, by the way. Your Arabic reminds me of my Chinese. خلت من قبله الرسل. You just said خلت من قبله الرسل. Let us go to the Quran. I mean, this word, this guy, he cannot even say two words without getting spanked. I mean, he just started. This is what we stopped yesterday. What we can do? This is what happened when you speak about Scooby Scooby Doo. In chapter 3, verse 144, it says, This is the Arabic. وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ Translation, Muhammad is nothing but a prophet. All messengers before him die. Look at the Muslim translation just to make to fool you. Muhammad is, and they put between bracket things, is not in the Quran, like S-A-W. Allah is Allah saying S-A-W. Allah saying to Muhammad S-A-W in the Quran. <laughs> Let it go. No more than a messenger, and indeed, all the messenger before him pass away. Where it says many, you coward liars, in the translation. So look what this guy, he just did. He remind us of a statement in the Quran, which is, خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلْ خَلَتْ mean they are gone. Empty. All the messenger before him, they are gone. They, they die. It didn't say some... It didn't say many, all of them, which means now Muhammad is making contradiction in the Quran by making such a mistake because isn't it Isa supposed he did not die? Change the translator just to show you how this fraud religion work. Hmm? Change the translator. This is Hilali and Khan. Let us see Khattab. Okay, Khattab. What happened with Khattab? Let us see Khattab. <clears throat> no more than messenger other messengers have gone before him <laughs> different translator translator okay this is a nice game look we have a new Quran with every translation every translation is a new Quran you feel like you are you are born again Muslim with the new Quran Muhammad is not but apostle. Apostle have surely passed away before him. Mm -hmm. This is better than the other one. Apostle have passed away. But it says all apostle pass away. Khalat, khalat, you coward liar. Different translation. Uh, let us see. Maududi, Dudi, Dudi. Let us see the Dudi, Mr. Dudi. Hey, Dudi. Hmm? And messengers have passed away before him. Mm -hmm. Only passed away. قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلُ Coward liars. No dignity. All the messengers before him, they pass away. But because this will be a contradiction to the Quran, they don't dare to say the truth. And here you notice something very funny in the Quran. Muhammad, he made this verse. He do not know how he will die. So look what he said. If he then die or been slain, there is a third option. <laughs> I 
I mean, do you see the prophecy? Brothers and sisters, I receive a prophecy from Allah about my death. I am going always, I'm going either die or being killed. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, is there a third option? I'm so glad Muhammad did not say, either I will die by food or by sandwiches or by filling from the camel or by the sword or by the knife or by a stone or I might die in my bed and there's other options. Hmm. Prophet is a prophet. He don't know how he will die. This is God talking to him. You maybe you die, maybe you will be slain. We will not, we will have to wait and see. Anyway, let us go back to the Nigerian Abdul. I will try to make this video short, but you know how it happened. I have things to do, honestly. Jesus Christ is no more the messenger of God. Many were the messengers that came before him, and it's more. I want the Muslim to show me where he got the word many messengers die before him. I want him to show us this coward. You are a coward. I put the mark of the coward on you. I, I, I don't mean those flashing light in the video. I mean, you look like a Christmas tree for me. You look so good, man. Always I wanted those lights on me, but you know, nobody, nobody is watching them. You look like wee wee ambulance car. What what are those lights? I have no idea. And they are purple, purple. They are coming just in your glasses. Go ahead. Mother was a righteous and godly woman. Hmm. Jesus Christ is being mentioned a lot in the Quran to showcase who he actually was as he walked the earth. Because there's a lot of confusion around his name. Hmm. Muhammad, he doesn't have Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There is no confusion. Uh, okay, I changed to show me where in the Quran it says who is Muhammad. See, the Muslims, they say, Muhammad is the son of Abdullah. Muhammad, we know his mother name. Muhammad, where in the Quran says that? How come in the Quran, no mentioning of Muhammad, except, um, actually, even the Quran is confused about the name of Muhammad. Sometimes he called him Ahmed, sometimes Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? Where he's born? Who is his father? Who is his mother? Who is his tribe? Can you show us? You cannot, you are busy with the lights in your face. Go ahead. About who Muhammad was. And so therefore, it is absolutely clear to everybody, mm. just like any other prophet. Uh, uh, how clear? Muhammad was born, according to the Hadith, four years after his father's death. Is that clear to you? I mean, have you ever heard of somebody? He is born four years after his father's death. So clear who is he? Very clear. Imagine you divorce your wife. Four years after she called you, honey, come to the hospital and pay for the bill. I just delivered your son. Mm -hmm. What my son? I divorced you four years ago. Oh, your son, his name is Muhammad. Mm -hmm. It's so clear who is Muhammad. There's nowhere in the Quran says who is this guy Muhammad. I challenge any Muslim to show me. I, you know what? You will prove me that I am ignorant if you can show me in the Quran where it says who is Muhammad. Nowhere. A guy, his name is Asada, saying, Asad al Islam? You are the lion of Islam? You know what? You remind me of Allah because as I know, I think you chose the wrong name. According to your prophet, Allah, he have a dog. He don't have a lion. Do you want to show you the reference? In the chapter of an najm your prophet was talking to his cousin. And he told him to worship the god of the star. Because your prophet is a pagan god, worshipper. God of the star, Rabbul Najm. So when he, the cousin, he said, I am not going to worship the star, God of the star. Muhammad, he said to him, aren't you worried that Allah will send his dog to eat you? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, the dog of Allah. 
I even Allah have a dog. True story. And then the guy he went to, uh, he went to Yemen. And then the dog of Allah came and ate him. I think it was a husky dog. Do you think so? Hmm? Let us see what Tafsir says. We will go back to the Nigerian boy. Read with me, Abdul. Tafsir. Haddathana Bishr. Qal. Blah, 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 blah. Haddathana Bishr. Blah, 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 blah. وَالنَّجْمُ إِذَا هَوَى مَا ضَلَّ رَبُّكَ صَاحِبُكَ وَمَا غَوَى قال عتبة ابن أبي لهب كفرت برب النجم فقال رسول الله <تصفيق> Aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you, you idiot? So why you are calling yourself the lion of Allah when Allah have a dog? Are you exchanging the lion with the dog these days? I mean, you Muslims, you have a very weak vision. Hold on, let me open this thing in, in Google browser, browser. So we can translate to English, brother. So because the Muslim, they will say, it doesn't say that, see me. It doesn't say that, see me. You know them. You know them. Okay, this is your Islamic website. Let us show it in the screen. Islamweb.net, Fatwa, Tafsir al Tabari, Surat al Najm, page number 493, 494, 495. I will click translate. Translate to English in the front of your eyes. Let us see, where is the word dog? Where is the word dog? Uh -huh. Don't tell me the translation is gone with the dog. Anyone see the word dog? Hold on. Dog is missing. Anyone saw my dog? Here we go. Aren't you? Be aware that the dog of Allah will eat you. <coughs> be aware not to be eaten by the dog of Allah. What? Like what? What? Allah has a dog. But according to Allah, dogs are filthy. Allah will take your deeds, 100 deeds every day from your deeds if you have a dog. And then suddenly, surprise, surprise, the hypocrite Allah, he himself have a dog. Let us go back to the topic with this guy. Forget about those kids in the chat. But after Jesus, there's so many confusion. At the time that Jesus Christ walked the earth, the first century Christians, they believe he is a messenger of God. A mighty one, but not God. Later, mm -hmm. uh -huh. the first Christian they believe in that. Where, where are you get this from? Isn't it the books of uh, the, the, the 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 Bibles are written in the first century? And you Muslim, you say like the book of John written six, 60 years after uh, after uh, after Jesus, and you complain about sixty years. So who's John? Who's Luke? What's wrong with those people? Aren't you Muslims you attack Paul? Was Paul in the in the 10th century? You coward? Potato? Aren't you aware that the dog of Allah will eat you? You are safe for now. Because you are in YouTube. No dog will eat you, don't worry. Continue. Theology begin to develop after him. He could be a god because he doesn't have a mother, I mean a father. He was born miraculously. Maybe his father is God, this and that. So they, they begin to develop theology 
about Jesus Christ being the Son of God. Ah, so you are saying to us that Allah, He made Jesus have no father. So the Christians, they will be confused and Allah will deceive them. And then they will be thinking, Jesus have no father. How that can be? He must be God. So your God is the reason behind that. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. And on and on and on. Trying God. And he goes this and that. And just so many confusion. That is why when the Quran came, the Quran began to expound who Jesus Christ actually was as he walked the earth. And that is why his name, you know, was mentioned a lot. But the simple fact that he doesn't have a father makes him a God. Well, how about Adam? Adam does not have stop 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 you know take off your pant bend over you know this is not sexual by the way this is not sexual but the reason i want to ask you to take off your pant and bend over not to spank you i think you have a mole like your prophet in your back you stupid we christian believe that jesus is god because he have no father is that the reason really guess what my mother she can claim that i have no father too this is a miracle nobody can prove or disapprove I can claim that my father is not exist. I have no father. So the stupid you who have a logic of little barbecue full of circle in his mouth, chewing it, and he think this is gum. We don't believe Jesus is God because he have no father, but there's a question a Muslim cannot answer. Why he is the only one is born, but he have no father. Now, a Muslim, he will try to explain to you why Jesus should not be accepted to be God for just having no father. Tell us more. Have an earthly father. He doesn't even have a mother. So isn't he even more? What? Hold on. You mentioned what? I think he's talking about uh, a, a name in the Bible. About Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, there is no confusion at all, at all. about Muhammad. No. So God Almighty go out of His way to explain to us, "Mal Masihu Isa Budu Maryam Rasulullah." God had that many people who Rasul, but Umu Husin. You know, that's when the Muslims, especially those Nigerian, you know, they want to show you that you know the Quran by heart, so they speak fast. So the, the reason they speak fast because they want to cover the mistakes when they say, speak in Arabic. So you don't. You don't understand what he is saying. Like, you know, suppose he's sounding Arabic now. So Take it easy, man. I mean, you are speaking to people who do not know Arabic. Why are you speaking so fast? All right. Dika, most certainly, Jesus Christ is no more the messenger of God. Many were the messengers that came before him, uh -huh. and his mother was a righteous and godly woman. Was uh, the mother of Muhammad righteous and godly woman, or she was a bad woman? And the Quran describes her as najis. Shouldn't we ask why Muhammad have a bad parents, and Jesus have a holy mother, as you call her? Righteous woman? Question. We will wait for the Muslim to answer. Why God he choose, let us say, let's think about it for a second. Why God he choose that the Messiah is born of a woman, is considered in Islam the best woman. And why Allah, the same God supposedly he choose, that Muhammad is born from a woman, she was doing muta. If you read my book, you will find that those Arab they was doing muta, and the mother of Muhammad, when Muhammad was, Muhammad father supposedly was going to sleep with her, the sister of Waraka ibn Nawfal, she offer the father of Muhammad 100 camel to sleep with her. Now, I believe the story is exaggeration and it's stupid. I mean, 100 camel to sleep with her. But in the same time, it make like look like Muhammad's father was a gay galo, gay galo. You know, when a woman, she pay you to sleep with her, not to marry her, to sleep with her. I believe the reason, because Waraka ibn Nawfal was sleeping with the mother of Muhammad and he sent his sister to stop the father of Muhammad to have relationship in bed with the mother of Muhammad. And the story says that when the father of Muhammad came back after he did boom boom with the mother of Muhammad, saying he would do have sex with her, she said, I have no need for you. Which means the whole purpose was is to disturb him from going there. Continue. Jesus Christ is being mentioned a lot in the Quran to showcase who he actually was as he walked the earth. Because there's a lot of confusion around his name. 
Muhammad, he doesn't have sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There is no confusion about who Muhammad was. And so therefore, it is absolutely clear to everyone. It's clear, it's clear. Nowhere in the Quran mentioned who was Muhammad. I challenge the Muslims, I'm waiting for that. It's clear, it's clear, brother, it's clear. The Muslims, they say the hadith is corrupt. The hadith is full of lies. So how you can trust the hadith in the, the Quran never mention who is Muhammad? Not a single place. Not a single place where he was born. Like the Muslim, they say it says Mecca. He, he was sent to Mecca. If he is from Mecca, why he sent to Mecca? Who is his father? Nowhere. Who is his mother? Nowhere. Nowhere. But in the Quran, it says, who is Abraham and who is his sons? The Quran says, who is Messiah? He is a son of who? So how come the Quran never say Muhammad is a son of who? Continue. Everybody, just like any other prophet, but after Jesus, there's so many confusion. At the time that Jesus Christ walked the earth, the first century Christians, they believed uh, a Muslim saying to me, do you like to spank a Muslim, a, a man in his butt? Uh, you are a stupid, my friend. I just say to you, take off your pant because your prophet, he have a mole in his back. We want to see if he's a prophet because he is a prophesying now. So look like you are the one who like to spank men in their butt. And by the way, do you want me to show your prophet spanking men? And he love it. Continue. He's a messenger of God, a mighty one. But not God. Later, theology began to develop after him. He could be a God because he doesn't have a mother, I mean a father. He was born miraculously. Maybe his father is God, this and that. So they, they begin to develop theology about Jesus Christ being the son of God. And on and on and on, trying God. And he was this and that. And just so many confusion. That is why when the Quran came, the Quran began to expound who Jesus Christ actually was as he walked the earth. And that is why his name, you know, was mentioned a lot. For the simple fact that he doesn't have a father makes him a God. Well, how about Adam? Adam does not have an earthly father. He doesn't even have a mother. So isn't he even more, you know, uh, 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 you know, in, 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 in all in position to become a greater God? No, you idiot. First of all, Adam is a sinner, you donkey. Secondly, Adam is not born, you donkey. So how someone is not born, you donkey, is going to have a father or mother, you donkey. Jesus is not a sinner. The Quran says Adam is a sinner. And this is why Allah, he kicked him out of heaven. Jesus is holy in the Quran, chapter 19, verse number 19. Jesus is born, Adam is not born. I mean, if somebody is not even born, how he, how we are going to ask how come he don't have a father? Are you stupid or what? If the guy is not born, when we say how come he don't have a father, we are questioning his birth. Is Adam born? I mean, why those people are silly? They are literally silly people, you know, they, they don't know. They, it's like immature people talking and uh, you expect them to be mature, but they cannot be mature. They are not, you know. So when you compare between Adam, and by the way, this is a verse in the Quran, the stupid Allah, he compared between Adam and Jesus. And the stupid Allah, he said in the Quran, Aka Muhammad, that the similarity of Adam is the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. So this guy he is trying to copy the Quran and the stupidity of the Quran. And let us show you how we can get this busted easy. If Adam is the same as Jesus in a creation, because the Quran make it clear what is similar between them. Read carefully, please. Chapter three, verse number fifty-nine. Surely, the sight of, in the sight of Allah, the similitude of uh, the creation of Jesus as the creation of Adam, whom he created out from dust, he said to him, be and he was. First of all, Jesus is not created from dust. That's stupid. We are reproduction from Adam and Eve. We go back to dust, yes, but we are not created. The only one who was created from dust 
is the first man. After that, we are reproduction. This is why the Quran says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصِهْرًا Let us go to the verse. What does that mean? You can open the interpretation and you will see that anyone after Adam, he was from the lineage of sexual relationship. So you are ignorant in your religion, you are ignorant in your Quran, you are a stupid, you are a fool, and you are a Abdul. Are you speaking against the Quran now? So it is he who has created the man from water. Then, this is the second step, then he had established relationship in, in the lineage. By what? By sexual relationship, marriage. And when the Quran says he created the man from water, the Quran speaking about sperm. So everyone uh, who is after Adam is created from relationship of lineage by marriage between male and female. Yet the Quran here forgot that Jesus is not included because Jesus is not from marriage, no sexual relationship, and his mother was a virgin according to the Quran. So when this guy, he mentioned this, we laugh. Secondly, if we go back to the Quran, when, when the Quran says that Jesus is the same as Adam, Allah, he said to him, be and he was. But did Allah created Adam by saying be and he was? Absolutely false. Let us see. If we go in the Quran, We will see how Allah, he created Adam. He did not say be and he was nowhere. That is a contradiction again. Uh, all those verses are speaking about Adam was created from mud. He created him from what? From mud. Okay, but how the creation happen? Let us see. Just to show you, the Quran, by the way, says that if you find contradiction in this book, that means it is not from Allah. Chapter 15, verse number 29. It says it clearly. Behold the Lord, he said, Allah, he said to the angels, I am about to create a man from sounding clay, from mud modeled into a shape. Do you see the word be and he was? No. When I have fashioned him, fashioned him, he made him like a statues. And then I breathe into him from my spirit. This is how the creation happened. What is be and was? Do you see how they lie when they say that Adam is the same? This is contradiction. Because if Adam is the same as Jesus and Jesus is the same as Adam, well, both of them should be created in the same way. Now, let us go and see how Jesus was created according to the Quran. Was Jesus created by saying to him, be and he was? Let us see. Here we go. Chapter 21, verse number 191. And Mary, the one who guarded her vagina, the lie in the translation doesn't say chastity, it says vagina. We breathe into her, what, what the liars, we breathe into her vagina of our spirit. And we made her son a sign for all people. So what Allah he did, did he say be or he breathe? Is the word be, is the same as we breathe into her vagina? So we find right away that Adam wasn't created by B and he was, neither Jesus was created by B and was. Adam was fashioned from mud and from dust. 
And after Allah, he made the clay and mixed the water with the, with the dust, that's what the clay is. He molded him in a shape. And after he molded him and he fashioned him, then he breathed into him. Anyone see where the Allah, he says, be and he was? Actually, in different verse in the Quran, Allah, he says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا Let's get the, the, the verse. What is this Ajula? According to the Quran, that when Allah was creating Adam, Adam, he said to Allah, finish me before the sunset. Can you believe it? Finish me, Allah, before the sunset. When you say Allah, he say be, and it was, there's no time, that's it, be, he was. But Adam asking Allah to finish me before the sunset, I'm not going to ask you how Adam he knew about the sunset, which the story is stupid. And why Allah cannot finish him after the sunset like this? He didn't have a flashlight, he didn't have LED. Allah, he worked by solar. Finish me before the sunset. So when you get those people who speak about Islam, and they claim to be sheikh. They are just a bunch of potatoes. Let me find the hadith. Oh boy, I was typing in Arabic. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> This is what happened when you, you know, you talk with the ignorant. Okay. I will put the screen, just give me a, a minute. I'm just looking for, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir, because you know, the Muslim, they will say to you, is lying. Is lying. Adam did not say anything. this is this is Ibn Kathir and this is your Muslim website. Alright? Ibn Kathir. Chapter 17. And the man is ever hasty. Salman al Farisi said from Ibn Abbas from 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 the, from the story of Adam. That when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul breathed into him, see the, the stages? So Allah he made the mud. He, then he fashioned the mud, then he breathed into the mud or the statues, and now he's not done yet. So when he breathed into him and this and the and the and the breathe into his body from his head downward, Allah was doing a French kiss. <coughs> Adam, open your mouth. Give us me. You know, okay. In his mouth. Okay. So from his head downward, when it reached his Brain, he sneezed. Hatsu! Hatsu! True story. And he said, Alhamdulillah. Here we go. Adam, he speak Arabic. Arabic does not exist at that time, but he speak Arabic. Alhamdulillah. Adam, he said, Alhamdulillah. Okay. And then Allah said, May, may your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. Look, what the heck? The Barbie is not finished and we have a conversation already. Adam start talking. Allah respond to him because he sneezed, may Allah have mercy on you. So who is Allah then? If Allah is saying, may Allah have mercy on you, so who are you? And then when it reached his eyes, he opened them. When it reached his body, he uh, and his limbs, he started to stare at them. Like, you know, the guy like Ahmad, the dead terrorist. Like, my feet, is that feet? Yeah, so he's staring at his feet and wonder. Then he wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not. So he said, Oh Allah, Oh Allah, finish me before the night come, Allah. Oh Allah, what a story. So what those people are about talking about? Do you see the stupidity? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, 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 hold on, hold on. This this Abbas is saying. Let me show you what Abbas is saying. Abbas is the smartest Muslims ever who his specialty is pizza. 
This is uh, Ibn Kathir is not reliable. Who said this is Ibn Kathir, you, you, you idiot? Ibn Kathir is quoting a hadith. Ibn Kathir was not exist in your prophet time. What a stupid people, man. What about the Quran saying the story? Allah is and the man is ever hasting for what? Read, read, read all the hadith about it. They are ashamed of it. Let us let us go to the Nigerian boy. I wanted to make this video short. Anyway, I will stop when I have to go. If the criteria that those who claim that Jesus Christ is God by the simple fact that he doesn't have a father, Adam have no mother and no father. He's a greater God. Adam is not the is not born. You idiot! You can't even compare. But I understand. You are just following the stupidity of Muhammad. Because you know uh, Jesus Christ came just like uh, you and I through his mother. And we know how he came. He came like me and I. Really? We we both hear the same? No, it's not the same. You are a liar. The Quran says he is the word of God of Allah sent down to Mary. Am I the word of Allah sent down to my mother? So. The origin of Jesus in the Quran was a word, then he breathed into Mary, then we have Jesus. Are you the same? You're a liar. Then, tell us more. God coming like that, subhanAllah. Oh, God is coming, he's born of a woman, subhanAllah. What about God? He's putting his mouth in a vagina, subhanAllah. When the Quran says, and we breathe into Mary vagina. Subhanallah. This is the word in Arabic. In different verses it says, Let me show you. Here we go. We copy the same. You know, the Quran is just a repeat of itself. Stupid book, you know. Go here, search here, in the front of you. See, two verses. Here, we blow in it. So, subhanAllah, we have a God who is a vagina kisser. And look, the Muslim, they try to make it look nice. They say, we breathe into her body. What body? It says, Farjaha, you coward. Okay, in her body, where? Where, where in her body? Where? Allah, he turned the fan? Or Mary? What do you mean in her body? Where? The Arabic says, Farjaha. If I type the word Farj, what I will see in the Hadith, just to show you. Or you know what, I will type it in the Quran. Yeah, let us see. Furujahum. Walladina hum li furujihim hafidhun. What is this? Those who protect their private part, which means they don't do adultery. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Furujaha is not her body anymore, is protecting their private part from sex. <laughs> Except the one who is her husband, she can do boom boom with him. Or those who they are slaves, you can rape them. This is what Farouj. Farouj can be for a male or, or female in the same time. When you put it in the front of a woman or, you know, attached to a woman, you are talking about her private part as a woman. And the Quran is full of this. Chapter 24, verse number 30. Chapter 24, verse number 31. This is for females. Farouj Hmm? So, those people, they are a scammers claiming knowledge, but they don't have it. Uh, <clears throat> Let us continue. 
Glory be unto God. What kind of God is that? So based on that injunction, we begin to understand clearly the thinking of those who claim that Jesus Christ is God. That is the wrong concept. Christ never mentioned anything about that. Christ never mentioned anything about that. So when Christ, he said, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father. He will not, you know, he will not enter unless he do, do his will. So God did not say he's God. When Jesus, they asked him, can we see the father? He said to him, I am with you all the time and you do not know me. The one who saw me, he saw the father. And yet Jesus never said, I am God. When Jesus said, I am the life, which means life is from me. I'm the creator of life. He did not say, I'm God. When he said, I am the truth, he did not say, I'm God. Is it Allah? The Muslim, they call him Al-Haq. The Muslim, actually, Muhammad, he stole the attribute of Jesus and he add them to Allah. The truth, the resurrection, the beginning, the end, the life. The liars, they say, Jesus never said that. Continue. We have another Superman in the Bible. Mm, give us one. The book of Hebrew. Uh -huh. There is a man. Mm. Hebrew chapter one verse chapter seven verse one I mm -hmm. believe. Okay. By the name Melchizedek, mm -hmm. it says, "For this Melchizedek, mm -hmm. king or prince of the Most High God, mm -hmm. without mother, without father, mm -hmm. without beginning, without end, make like unto the Son of God, and he lived on earth eternally." Who is this? This attribute belongs to God Almighty. God is the only one that have no mother, no father. You know, the problem is, when you learn from a donkey, you hear a voice of a mute. When they say he have no father, no mother, it means he is unknown as a family. We do not know who his mother. We do not know where he came from. We do not know his family. We do not know who is he. So the stupid you, he thinks that the Bible says that this person is God or he has, he's like Jesus. He have no father, no mother, which means we do not know who is he, the son of who. We have no beginning, no end. We do not know when he came. We do not know when he left. We do not know where he lived. We know nothing about him, except that he is a wonderful man. So when a stupid you come to us to explain to us our book, we laugh. You see, the difference between us and the Muhammadan, when we explain to them their book, we go and read their explanation. We don't make our own. Like when the Muslim, I said to him, you call yourself the Lion of Allah, but Allah have a dog. I did not create this. I just went there and I show him. When I say to the Muslims that Allah, he created Adam in a certain way, I went to the Quran and show it to them. But the Muslim, when he tried to refute Christianity, he fabricate things. If you want to bring us something, you have to come with something we believe in, not your own fabrication. When I debate the Muslims about who is Jesus, I don't debate Muslims about Jesus, the one I believe in, because they don't believe in him anyway. I debate them about Jesus, the one they believe in. So when I say Jesus is not the same as Adam, I showed you from the Quran. I did not go to the Bible. Because you will say, well, I don't believe in the Bible anyway. So the fool you, when you quote for us, a person mentioning the Old Testament without knowledge, we laugh. Because your knowledge make you exposed to stupidity. You have no knowledge. You have no knowledge, obviously, in Islam. You have no knowledge in Christianity. You have no knowledge of anything. And yet you call your chef sheikh. And do the Christian believe that Jesus is God because he have no father? Is that really a reason? So look what this guy he said. He took one of many tons of miracles Jesus did and he made it the reason to believe that Jesus is God. That is not true. Number one, Jesus is not is is, is God. He's holy. If we go to the Quran, the book of Yellow Pages, if we go to chapter 19, verse number 19, we'll find the Quran says that Jesus is a gift of God as a holy son. 
and you can choose any translation all of them they are stupid anyway all of them I never find a Muslim translation is decent where Jesus is coming from he is a gift from who to who read with me so it's confirmed in the Quran that Jesus is holy what about Muhammad is he holy no even Muhammad he confirmed that every son of an Adam is khatta, is a sinner Jesus is not the son of Adam and that explains why Jesus is not the son of Adam all right that's why he is not the son of Adam because every son of Adam is a sinner so when a Muslim he you know uh, uh, he speak he try to confuse you know he's, he's confused and then he transform his confusion into you Jesus the Messiah who is holy versus Muhammad who is extremely sinner to the point Allah he says may Allah forgive your sin May Allah forgive your sin. The Muslim translation deception says that Allah he is saying Allah forgive may forgive his sin, but it doesn't say sorry fault. But in the true translation, it is may Allah forgive your them, which mean sin. The Muslim they took it away. No dignity, no honesty. It is a sin. It says here we go. We just changed the translator. Suddenly we have a new Quran that Allah may forgive your sin so it's confirmed in the Quran that Jesus have no sin Muhammad is a sin in the past and in the future in the past in the future and actually if you go and read the hadith where in the judgment day every people will go to their follower or they say prophet sorry you will notice that everyone he make make it clear that he have sin except Jesus and who is the one mentioning that Muhammad himself can you believe it I can go right now and find the hadith even though I have to go soon let us see <clears throat> what was the hadith I need to remember the hadith you know uh, somebody is getting old man okay All right, we got it. Here you will see a story mentioned in by Muhammad in Sahih al-Bukhari, and this is very authentic. Every person will go to his prophet in the day of resurrection. Those who was in the time of Adam, they will come to Adam. They will say, oh Adam, intercede for us in front of the Lord. He will say, I'm not fit for that. Go, you better go to Abraham. He is the Khalil, he is the beneficent. Abraham is the beneficent, he's the same as Allah. Okay. They will go to Abraham and will say, I am not fit for that. But you go better to Moses. He is the one whom Allah spoke directly. Then they will go to Moses, and then he will say, I am not fit for that. But you better go to Jesus. He is the soul created by Allah and his word. Between two brackets, which means it's not exist. This is the Muslim translation. False. Jesus is special. He is the soul of Allah. He is the word of Allah. And then they will go to Jesus. And he will say, well, I am not fit for that. You better go to Muhammad. <laughs> the word of Allah is pure. The word of Allah is eternal. 
The word of Allah is not created. This is the belief of Islam. And actually, if we go in different hadith, it gives you more explanation for this, because here, for some reason, they, they, they took off the translation, the correct translation. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah. Let us see. Now, there's only two hadith here. But anyway, so Jesus in the Quran confirmed that he is holy. And this is why the Quran says that Jesus says, peace be upon me. Peace be upon me. When I was born, when I die, and the day I will be resurrected. There is nowhere in the Quran it says, peace upon me for Muhammad. The day I was born, the day I die, and the day I will be resurrected. And this is the same about Zakaria, actually. I mean, the child of Zakaria, Yahya. This is you know, if you ask Muslims actually, who is this Zachariah? They will say to you, the son of Zachariah, they will say, this is the cousin of Jesus. Okay, and what the, the duty of the cousin of Jesus, they will say to you, to prepare for Jesus. And right away they speak about Jesus and Mary. And the same thing, peace, peace be upon me. The day I am born, the day I am resurrected, and the day I die. The person who is saying to you, peace be upon me, the day I'm born, the day I die, that's mean he have no sin, he have no anger from God. Why is why he have a peace on him when he's born? Because his birth is perfect. No sin there. Why he have peace on him the day he die? You know, people when they die, they commit a little sin. When you are born, you are a child anyway. But when you die, you are now already mature and you pass through a lot of things. You commit a lot of sin. No, in the, in the case of Jesus, peace be upon me when I die. And then not only that, peace be upon me in the judgment day. Or when I am resurrected according to Islam. When the case for Muhammad, no. Muhammad is wishing Allah to forgive him for his sin, which in the past and in the future. And here you see that Muhammad, obviously, he's making uh, a statement. Uh, oh, the screen is not there. Sorry for that. It's my fault. I apologize. Uh, here, uh, uh, Muhammad is making a statement that Allah said, he might forgive his sin. May Allah forgive his sin. And who is talking Allah? So Allah is not even sure that Allah, the other Allah, will forgive the sin of Muhammad. While in the same time, Jesus, he does not need anyone to forgive his sin, for he have none. He is holy, chapter 19, verse 19. He is sent by God. And peace be upon me, on the day I was born, on the day I die, in the day I will be resurrected, or I shall rise up to life. And you will notice here Jesus saying, it's not Allah who put peace on me, it says peace on me. He is he's saying to himself, so peace on me. Why? Why peace on me? So when we see that Jesus and the Bible confirmed that Jesus, he said to the Jews, who of you can rebuke me of a sin I did? Who there? When we challenge, when, when somebody challenge, who can prove me that I'm a sinner? That's mean he's saying clearly, I am sin free. I cannot do that. I have sin. You have sin. Your prophet, he says, Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Jesus is not the son of Adam. And that is explaining why Jesus is not born of a man. And that explains why Mary, she was chosen. The Quran says it clearly that she is the most pure woman ever. While the mother of Muhammad, she is Najis. 
The Quran says that every single pagan is najis. وَإِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ نَجِسُ What's happened to this website? Here we go. Chapter 9, verse 28. Chapter 9, 20, uh, uh, it's appeared three times. Stupid website. The pagans are any clean. This is the Muslim translation, which is not right. And clean, najis here does not mean unclean. It means they are filthy. They have filthy soul, not only filthy body. So Muhammad is born of a filthy woman, according to the Quran, of a filthy father, according to the Quran. Question, why Allah chose to make Muhammad born of a filthy pagan woman, mother, filthy pagan father, yet Jesus is born from the most pure women and he have no father and the Quran describe him as holy son he's holy son of who he is a gift a gift from who from God okay who is the one who brought this gift for us God he sent what a son son of who who is his father So when a Muhammadan, he tried to fabricate his own reasoning, he is not reasoning at all. And then we have to add, not only Jesus is born from a perfect woman, not only he have no father, not only he is called holy, while Muhammad called sinner. Not only that, Jesus have power over death. Jesus have power over life, have power over judgment. Even Muhammad, he said, the Messiah will come on you, Hakaman Muqsitan, he will be a just ruler. He will, how you can be just? Isn't it, this is one of the attribute of God? Nobody is just, save God. Nobody. To be to be able to be just, you have to have the knowledge of God, of the unseen, the crime they did, or, or the good they did, or the bad they do, it doesn't matter. And you have to have the knowledge of balance, which means to be fair. So how Jesus will be judge? And he will be just, not judge. And why he will be the judge and the just, not Muhammad? And why he will accomplish fairness and justice in the earth, not Muhammad? So even your Quran leading us to believe that Jesus is someone very special and Muhammad is no match. While Muhammad is busy looking for women to sleep with, Jesus is busy doing just and judgment between mankind. While Muhammad making verses about any woman she want to give her private part to the Prophet, Jesus was busy making miracles, making the blind see. Making the one who cannot walk, walk. Resurrecting people from death. While Muhammad was making verses like this, just look and die laughing. Have you ever heard of a God, he go to his office to make such a statement? Oh Prophet, Allah is getting busy now. This is Allah versus Jesus. Can we do that? Allah versus Jesus. O Prophet of Allah, we made lawful for you your wives. What? 
The guy is sleeping with them for the last century. Now you remember to make them lawful for him. So before they were not lawful. What this is about? I mean, have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? You tell me. And those who you paid them their doors, okay. And those who they are your right hand process, the captive prisoner, you can rape them. Assigned to you. Allah assigned them to you, that's it. And the daughter of the uncles, and the daughters of the aunts, and the daughters of the parter uncle, and the daughters of the parter aunts, and the Margaret women who come with you, even the Margaret women who come to believe in Muhammad, he can sleep with them, yes, brother. And not only that, did not stop here. Any believing women who dictate her soul, fast translation, dictate her vagina. It says, any woman she offer herself in sex. Not soul, what soul? Is that a Buddha temple now? I want to give you my soul. Okay, I'm a very special person. Uh, is your soul, is that the one who have panty on it? What does soul have to do with it? She offer herself in sex. And then when Muslims women, they start offering themselves and he Muhammad, he noticed some of them, they are old and some of them, they look they don't look good at all. He said to himself, oh, oh, I put myself in trouble. So now I'm going to make a new verse. He said, Allah told me you may differ, turn away or turn off them or put them in line if you want. See the evil? In the same time, what Jesus was doing at that time? What Jesus was busy with? Matthew 5 and seeing the multitudes he went up into a mountain and when he was set his disciples came unto him and he opened his mouth and taught them saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have that lost his savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out, and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. 
ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come, and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt by no means come out thence, till thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if thy right eye offend thee... I mean to that. Stop here, please. If you look at a woman, she has not yours you committed adultery. Let us see at Muhammad the adulteress. Sleeping with women, they are not his. Sleeping even with the maid. And not only that, when a woman she walked by, Muhammad, he got horny. And then he go to his wife. You see, when a man he got horny because he looked at the women, what kind of a look he was doing? We just heard the Lord saying that when you look at the women, you commit adultery. This is adultery for Christ. You see the, the highest standard of Christ? Let us look at the standard of Muhammad and his God. Jabir reported, messenger as saying, a woman advanced from the, uh, she advanced from the devil. Why he's talking about a woman? She is the devil. Why? What happened? Let us see. Jabir reported that the prophet, peace upon him, he saw a woman. And so he came to his wife Zainab. She was standing leather and had sexual intercourse with her. And then Muhammad, because their friends are watching what happened, they saw him, what happened, he got horny. He came out and he says, the women advance and retire in the shape of the devil. Who is the devil here? The woman, she is walking in the street, she did nothing. She did nothing. She did not talk to Muhammad. She is not wearing a short skirt. She is not exposing herself. She is a Muslim woman wearing the hijab, wearing the burqa. She walked in the street. Muhammad, he stared at her. That's why the hadith says he saw a woman. What is the reason he have sex with, with Zainab? He saw a woman. So here we see that when we speak about Jesus, because no one is like Jesus. When we say Jesus is God, for nobody can be holy as Jesus. When we speak about Allah or Muhammad, nobody can filthy, dirty, disgusting as Muhammad. So to this fool who say that Jesus is just a prophet, and what a big deal, I mean, Adam was, have no father, who, who's talking about Adam having no father? And then later in the video, I have to finish because I have somebody to meet. He said in the video, Joshua, he stopped the sun. Joshua did not stop the sun. Even in his video, he says he asked God to start. No, he prayed to God. We have Jesus who said who he is. I am in the Father and the Father in me. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. Not everyone say to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. I forgive your sin, Jesus said. Carry your chair and walk. Not only he is giving them the, the ability to do miracles, I forgive. Your sin is forgiven. What the Quran says about sin forgiven? Can a human being
forgive the sin of others. So when the Muslim they lie, and they say Jesus did not say, I am God, we laugh at them. Every single statement proving that Jesus is God. When the Quran says nobody forgives sin save God, did the Quran make a mistake? All those verses is about that. Allah is the one who forgives sin. There is no exception. Can Muhammad forgive the sin for people? No. Chapter 3 as an example, 135. Who is going to forgive sin save, save Allah? Who? Nobody. This is what the Quran is saying. Which means, if somebody in Islamic country he say, I forgive your sin, he claimed to be Allah, the Muslims will slaughter him immediately. But if you go in the Bible, we will find tons of verses, Jesus forgiving sin. So who is lying now? Who is the one denying the truth? Go, your sin is forgiven. <laughs> so my friend, when a Muslim he speak against Jesus, he is deceived by the, the devil Muhammad. The Bible said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And this is the fruit of Muhammad. Women, sex, money. Let me see for how long I can stay more. Let us see, we have a few minutes. If we go in the Bible, as an example, we go to Luke, chapter 7, verse number 48. You will find the Bible say clearly, Go, your sin are forgiven. Can Muhammad forgive sin? Who claimed to forgive sin? Who? Can Muhammad create from the mother bird as Jesus did? The Muslim, they would say uh, God gave him that. Okay, question, why God did not give that to Muhammad? You will find all the funny excuses in the world. They will say to you, in the time of Jesus, medicine was the most popular thing, the Roman medicine. When, Roman medicine? Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus. Which one medicine was advanced? And what medicine have to do with this? Why Jesus was giving them three, three, three bells to, to, to drink a day? What does this have to do with medicine? They cannot explain to you the mighty Jesus. So they try to explain to you he was no one. Joshua, he stopped the sun, and Joshua, he asked God. Jesus here, he forgave the sin. The Quran says, and who to forgive sin save Allah? Who can forgive sin save Allah? So my friends, those people, they, don't, they cannot present to us anything except their lies and their stupidity. We laugh at them, that's true. We expose them, that's true. But the most important is we learn about their lies, that nothing there is truthful. 
I hope you people did learn something new today. And I hope the Muslim learned too. And I hope you would download those videos. We have two videos today. The one previous one, I will take it soon down. Maybe in 15 minutes from now, go download it. And this one, we will leave it maybe for, I don't know, a few hours, maybe until tomorrow. Download it and share it with your friends. Put your subtitle to it, translate it to your language. My videos are for, for free to be used. It's made for you for free. All my services for free, as you know. And uh, as the Lord, he said, search for the truth and the truth will set you free. The truth, my friend, will set you free. Muhammad cannot set you free. Actually, Muhammad, he make you a slave, addicted to sex. Even his heaven is about sex. You are, you became a sexual perverted person in earth to the point you go after little girls. To the point a woman, she cannot walk in the street alone without guardian. Do you ask yourself why Muslim women, she need a guardian in Islamic town? She's afraid of who? From Muslims. Who made Muslims like this? The Arab was not like this. The Arab women, they used to go and work and do things. There was like attack between tribes, but inside the tribe, nobody, a woman is protected. So why women who live in her, between her own people, she cannot walk along the street. She need a guardian, what happened? Because Muhammad, he turned women into a sexual object. Muhammad, even when he promised them to go to war, he described for them the size of the women breast they will receive in heaven. Where is God in this? Did that when he was talking about the song of song, he says, is that God words? That is a song, you idiot, of a king. It's not God talking. And it's not even about women. However, who said to you that this is God is saying what he's saying? But when God, he says, I will give you big women breast. Their nipples is firm. When God, he said to you, I will describe for you what is inside their vagina. When Muhammad he described that those women you will sleep with, they are see-through, transparent bones. When a man he said to you, Allah will give you big number of women. Some story says hundreds of thousands, three hundred thousand boys. 80,000 boys. Muhammad cannot maintain even his words, his promise. And the moment they say this, there's a rank in the heaven. There's 100 rank, 100 floor. Each floor have way more than the one before it. So if you are doing jihad, you will get way more. What makes Jesus God, my friend, is his holiness, his ability. And even in your cult, he is the one who will come back and he will be the judge who will judge mankind. While Muhammad was busy in his time, torturing, killing people to find out where they hide their money. Jesus was saying, bless those, the poor. <clears throat> I was a prisoner and you took me in, you visited me. I was a stranger, you took me in. I was hungry, you feeded me. I was thirsty, you gave me water. Muhammad was saying the opposite. I was horny, you gave me your women. I wanted money, I took your money. They don't even give it. He made verses about how much money he should get from every attack. So when we believe in Jesus as God, we believe him for millions of reasons. One of them he is unique in his birth. One of them, that he is holy. One of them is miraculous. He is a miracle himself. He not only do miracles, he himself is a miracle. He is born of a virgin. One of them, he have power over death. One of them, he forgives sin. One of them, he heal anything, even if you touch him. One of them, he's a truthful. He say what he do and he do what he say. One of them, is alive, everyone is dead. 
one of them is a judge and he is a just, one of them, that he is the one who is the word of God, who came to us, humbling himself in the image of a man, so we can see the glory of God. And his glory is amazing. I challenge any Muslim to show me one thing Jesus he did, it's not glorious. And I challenge you Muslims to challenge me for the same thing. <laughs> and you know who is the loser. Thank you very much for being here. I got to go. I have people are coming. And uh, I wish I can stay longer. Thank you people. Download the video, please share it with your friends, add subtitle to Indian language, Indonesian language, whatever language you speak. So the Lord will bless your heart. The Lord, he will ask you one day what you did, where you been. From their fruits you shall know them. If you could not save one soul before you die, my friend, what is your life for? What is your life for? Let us save the Muslims. Let us love them. They are poor people. They've been deceived by the devil Muhammad. Six monster. Six predator. Sexual God. Kissing stones and yet accusing us to be pagans. Believing that the stones forgive sin. And yet they don't see that Jesus forgives sin. Pagan people, Mushrikeen Kuffar. They associate the name of a God with the name of a man. His name is Muhammad. We don't associate the name of a man with the name of a God. For Jesus is God. But you Muslim cannot even recite the name of Allah without adding name Muhammad next to him. You can't even say the name of Muhammad without saying Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah pray on him. Allah is a servant of Muhammad. While Jesus our Lord, even though he is our God, he came, he insists, he need, he want to wash the feet of his followers, his disciples. And he said to them, they said to him, Lord, you cannot do that. He said, if you don't let me do it, you do not know me. I do not know you. The master is the servant. That is a Christ. Who is your Muhammad? Thank you very much. And God bless you all. Take care.